Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Dory from Stampin' Always with Dory. And I'm having a little bit of technical issues, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hop on here and do a Facebook Live. This video will be uploaded to my YouTube channel later. But I wanted to make sure I got to share these fun folds with you. So, let's go ahead and get started. A little impromptu Facebook Live Fun Fold Friday for everyone. So if you're on, you can let me know. You can give me a like. You can give me a love. You can give me a thumbs up. My uh, Switcher Studio is not working at the moment. It's having a little Friday flub. So um, again, I'm going to go ahead and share these two quick and cute fun folds with you and then you guys can be on with the rest of your day if you didn't catch the live thank you guys for tuning in to the replay and i am featuring the amazing otters otterly amazing is the stamp set and um and then i have two christmas samples that i've made as well okay so and I see that you can see my legs in this as well. So, oh well. Hi, Carol. Happy Friday. So I'm going to start out with this cute fun fold here. Um, this one, if you look at it, it folds this way. And everyone needs birthday cards, right? Everyone has a birthday. You might as well celebrate it, whether you like it or not. Um, so here is the otter birthday card that we're going to make together and um, I love this it's like the pebbles part hey T hey Carol um, of the otter set and so I love pulling from my designer series paper to use as my color palette so I use the early espresso here all right so you're going to start with a piece of early espresso that is five and a half by five and a quarter and i have my scoring pal right here next to me and i think i even have my bone folder handy that's a rare occurrence so um, we're going to celebrate that as well so you want to make sure you're on the that you're scoring this way on the five and a half so you're going to flip it if that makes sense and we are going to do one and a quarter. Okay, so I'm sorry, one. So you're gonna come here to the four, you're gonna score it four and a quarter. I'll get it together here in a minute. Okay, so that's gonna be, it's gonna be a normal card size, so it's five and a half, and then you're just folding at four and a quarter, and it gives you that little one inch lip right there. Hey, Joanne, thanks for hopping on. If you guys are there, you can give me a like, a love. You can share the video also, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, and then the next piece you're gonna have is, um, this is gonna be your little front piece, okay? Let me show you. So you're gonna have your regular four by five and a quarter piece of white on the inside, but this is our piece that goes on to the flap so it attaches to the flap so i'm going to bring my flap open and i'm just going to put my adhesive there at the top then i'm going to line it up here at the bottom so i make sure my bottom is lined up thank you joanne and i'm going to scoot it over just a little bit and then i'm going to close it okay and that gives you the flap so then you're gonna take you have a piece of this will help you see see the inside you're gonna have your four by five and a quarter that's gonna go on the inside okay and um, let's go ahead and stamp before we attach Okay, so we're going to stamp before we attach because we know there are two sides to every piece of cardstock. Okay, and we're going to make sure that this happy birthday, we want it to kind of come down a little bit. 
I'm gonna do a happy birthday here. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm satisfied with that. One and done, right? So I am going to put that there. And I'm gonna put my happy birthday on the inside. So we have that. Then you have a piece that's gonna go on the front here. We're just building. It's gonna go on your little tab. And this piece is three by three and a quarter of basic white, okay? So we're gonna do our stamping there as well first before we attach it. And this one is going to say you're utterly amazing. So who doesn't love to get a card that says you're utterly amazing, right? I'm gonna stamp it down just a little bit, okay? Perfect, and I'm using um, my new favorite color, Pretty Peacock, it's my color of the day. And um, so that is gonna go on the front with these little adorable otters. So these come right out of your designer series paper. You guys know I'm a huge fan of that. Um, I've shared my big secret that I don't always love to color and I love when Stampin' Up! does all the work for us. Okay. And so I'm going to peel this off. Usually three is plenty. I'm gonna, and I'm going to attach it like so, right to the front. Okay, you guys are like, wow, Dory, nice, you know, early espresso card. So here comes the, the wow factor. We're going to add some of our designer series paper. And you are going to have a strip that um, you're going to need three pieces. You have one that's three quarters by five and a quarter. Okay, I need to trim this one, but that one's going to go right across the top. So again, three quarter by five and a quarter. Well, let's just do it together. All right, here we go. So I love on our trimmer, you have the little three quarter lines so you can bring it this way. And so remember our dark is the cutter. So there's three quarters and we'll trim that one. And then we need another one that's three quarters. These are for our side pieces. You can come up and do that all together, all together now. So this one, you're gonna need two pieces that are four. My dad is upstairs. They just, my parents just got here and my dad is calling me while I'm doing my Facebook Live. Hi dad. And then you are gonna do three quarters by five and a quarter. Is that right? Yeah, sorry, I can't read my own handwriting with my little, my little notes over there. And sometimes this, little persnickety as it just was. It's not very kind. So I'm going to use my big cutter that's right here by my side. There we go. All right. So I am going to attach these. So this piece is going to go across the top. So look at, look at the added color. I love the added color. Okay. So we're going to just a little all right, so we have this piece here, goes across the top, and then you have these two pieces that go down the side. All right. So we are going to put one here on this side and see how you get the little peak of the color on the side. And then you have one on the other side, like so, all right. All right, so that is the quick and cute fun fold, but wait, there's more. You guys know how I love my embellishments. I love my ribbon. So this is our pretty peacock ribbon and I love my uh, sparkle and shine. So we are going to do this here. Add a little bow there. How stinking cute is that, right? But we can't stop there, right guys? You know how I am. We have our Riverside Irregular Curls and I am going to use my cookie spatula and I am going to use the pearls that are here, kind of the, uh, the peacock ones. And I'll give you, I told you guys this, but I like to open mine on the side so you can just slip it out 
you can peel back your pearls that you need there. Okay. And I'm gonna do them in threes. One, two, and three. Right? And there we have it. Okay. So there is our quick and cute little fun fold. I think you guys will love this design. And then I have um, another one that I'll put on as a video. It's this one here, okay? And this one will be a video that I post later. So stay tuned for another video coming towards you. Happy Friday, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for following, liking, sharing, and all of it. Um, the main piece, Carol, is um, five and a half by five and a quarter. You score it four and a quarter, and then your overlay piece, which here is four by four. Okay, hopefully that helps. All right, guys, take care and have a great weekend. Can't wait to stamp with you again soon. Bye.